Hey everybody, it's Kara. Welcome back to Knowledge Work Nexus. Today I am continuing my series on why and how I am rebuilding my obsidian vault from the ground up. If you are new to this series and you want to check out that starter post, I will put a card right up here so that you can check that out. Otherwise, come on in and we are going to actually be setting up our vault today. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's Kara. Welcome back to Knowledge Work Nexus. And we are here for the vault build series. And so today in the video, we're gonna actually create the new vault. We're here in my current messy vault. Um, and if you wanna read why I'm doing this or watch the video about why I'm doing this, you can link below or there's a little card above my head um, that will take you to that video if you wanna watch the why first. But today we're gonna actually create my new vault. Now I've created tons of new vaults but this is going to become sort of my new home vault, my new vault that I open up every day um, as I do that. When I created my initial vault, and I'm going to show you this here, um, I actually created it inside with the name Second Brain 1.0. Um, it's fine. It's sort of Tiago Forte's building a Second Brain-esque. Great. I actually much prefer Annie Murphy Paul's take on it in Extended Mind. And Annie's research is based on um, a 1998, I think, paper by the same name. I'll link to that in the show notes below just in case you want to read it. It's an interesting paper. Her book is outstanding. And it is all about how we think in different environments and how we think with different tools and everything like that. And so that's why I'm going to name my new vault Extended Mind 1.0. In the article, which you can see the outline of right here on the screen, um, I go into some neat, into some depth as to why 1.0 and what, what do iterations mean to me in this vault? What do I think they're going to mean? In fact, um, you can take a look at that if you want to. Otherwise, you can skip that and just go to the instructional part, which will be below the video if you're in the article. And if you don't know where the article is, that's linked in the description below the video here on YouTube. It all crosses over. Okay, so let's take a look at how we create a new vault. So I'm making only probably one assumption in this entire series that I've got envisioned for you, and that is that you actually have Obsidian downloaded and installed, and that's it. Like, you could get to a new page in a vault. I, I'm assuming that. Um, so if you can do that, then you're ready to take on the steps of creating a new vault if you're going to build along with me. So I am going to come down here to this little link that says open another vault and I'm going to click that and this window will pop up. Now your list here on the left will look different than mine. You will not have all these crazy test uh, vaults in here. Maybe you might. I don't know. And we're going to click on create new vault because that is what we want to do. And we're going to give that vault a name. And I, as I mentioned, I'm going to call mine extended, oops, extended mind I think there's still an extra letter in there. There is. Woolmind 1.0. Okay, and then I'm going to browse to where I store this vault. Um, I have been storing all of mine in Microsoft OneDrive in the Documents folder because it's pretty easy to get to in this folder called Obsidian Vault. I'm going to actually stay there. Um, you can save a vault into Google Drive, into OneDrive. Now, you shouldn't sync with those, and I'll go into that in a future video, but it's still a good idea to just go ahead and keep it someplace like this. You can keep it anywhere you want to. You can always make a backup copy of it, highly recommended, um, as well, because it's just text. It's just markdown files. They're, they're not heavyweight files. That's one of the reasons why, if you looked at the Y video or read the Y article, I'm doing this is because they're really lightweight files. So even if I copied my whole old vault over, not a big deal in terms of weight. So once I've got this, I'm going to check this, extend my 1.0. Yes, this is where I want to save it. I'm going to hit create. And then all the magic is going to happen. And there is my brand new vault with the name right here, Extended Mind 1.0. So in the next video, I'm going to start to build this out. Make sure you come back and please like and subscribe.